Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by John Siantan. Nagaland government organized the program to welcome the G20 delegates at the Capital Cultural Hall in Kohima yesterday. Speaking at the program, Chief Minister Nipirio welcomed the delegates to the land of festivals. He said Nagas were known as war warriors in the past, but today they have become peace warriors with the advent of Christianity. Rio said that the state lacks in infrastructure. However, it has been endowed with pleasant weather and natural resources. He emphasized that 80% of its land is covered by forest. Rio said Nagaland is a tribal state with rich culture and traditions, and the state still practices customary laws under the provision of Article 371A enshrined under the Constitution of India. He appreciated the Confederation of Indian Industry for assisting the state in hosting the G20 meet. Thanking the delegates for visiting the state, Nipirio exuded hope that the delegates would have fruitful and memorable Nagaland experience. On the occasion, Rio also released a booklet on Nagaland and emerging investment destination. During the program, the guests were enthralled with music and dances, including a variety of traditional songs and dances showcasing the vibrant culture of the Naga society. Artists of various age groups performed in various forms, clad in colorful traditional attires. Meanwhile, the B20 meeting will be held at State Banquet Hall today from 9 a.m. onwards. Governor of Nagaland, La Ganesan, visited Nagaland State Museum yesterday. He expressed appreciation to the State Department of Art and Culture for maintaining the museum well. The governor said it is a good place to see and understand the greatness of the Naga culture in a nutshell. A host of officials from Rajpawan, as well as the Department of Art and Culture, including the Commissioner, accompanied the Governor during the visit. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed happiness for 60% coverage of tap water connection in the villagers' households. He said this is an outstanding achievement and will empower several lives. In reply to the tweet by Jal Shakti Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawad, Modi said that the government is doing everything to increase this coverage at an even greater pace in the times to come. In a special series, All India Radio brings you excerpts from the Prime Minister's Man Ki Baat. This is how our Prime Minister connects with millions of countrymen with the program Man Ki Baat, aired on the last Sunday of every month on All India Radio. This series, which started on October 3rd, 2014, will complete its 100th episode in April 2023. In the 41st episode of this special program, let's listen to those excerpts of the Prime Minister in which he spoke about giving priority to safety first in our lives. In times of calamity, safeguarding our lives is of top priority. and equally important is rescuing other people and protecting property in the man ki baat program broadcast on 28th february 2018 the prime minister not only spoke of the threats caused by natural disasters but also told the people to be prepared for them and keep safe jab hum public safety ki baat karte hain to do cheeze bahut mahatvapurna hoti hain proactiveness aur dusra hai preparedness सेफ्टी दो प्रकार की होती है एक वो जो आपदा के समय जरूरी होती है सेफ्टी ड्यूरिंग डिजास्टर्स और दूसरी वो जिसकी दैनिक जीवन में आवश्यकता पड़ती है सेफ्टी इन एवरीडे लाइफ अगर हम दैनिक जीवन में सेफ्टी को लेकर जागरूक नहीं है उसे हासिल नहीं कर पा रहे हैं तो फिर आपदा के दौरान इसे पाना मुश्किल हो जाता है The special Man Ki Baat series can be heard every day in the morning and evening bulletins. Minister for Housing and Mechanical Engineering P. Peshang Mungpa Chang has stressed on the need to do away with ism which can bring disunity in the society. Addressing the 6th Chang Wetdeshi Setshang CWS General Conference at a town hall in Twensang yesterday, the minister lamented that there are many educated Nagas who are still dependent on their parents. Chang expressed appreciation to the CWS for their valuable contribution to the Chang community in education sector 
by setting up Dolen Wisen, where financial aid is given to the poor students and also for organising the Loyem Memorial Trophy, where it gives privilege to the youth in the district in the field of sports. Bugobodo Subdivisional Planning Development Board conducted its first meeting yesterday under the chairmanship of the newly elected MLA, Dr. Sakato A. Sema. Addressing the board, Dr. Sakato called on all the government officials to have a clear roadmap for the development of Bugobodo. He added that special emphases will be given on youth empowerment, capacity building and assured financial support for the students. The MLA further encouraged the youth to give special focus on games and sports. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day. 